This video demonstrates the tasks which are in the iCut T1 practical evaluation using an EF Johnson 5300 radio. Task 1. Ensure the power supply is plugged in, then turn it on by pressing the on-off switch. The switch will glow when the power is on. Next, turn on the radio by pressing the radio's on-off volume knob. Allow the radio to go through its self-test. The self-test is finished when you hear a beep and the zone and channel numbers appear on the display. Turn the volume knob one half turn clockwise from the far left position. Adjust the volume as needed. Task 2. Select two assigned zone channel combinations. The solid line appears above the zone number when the radio is turned on. This indicates that the zone may be changed using the select knob. Let's turn to zone 5. Once the proper zone is found, select the proper channel by pressing the select knob once so the line appears above the channel number. Now turn the select knob to channel 4. The channel ID for zone 5, channel 4, is Byron WB. Now let's change to zone 3, channel 1. Since the channel number is already selected, we'll change that first. Task 3. Select high or low power using the transmit power button. Pressing the button toggles between low power and high power. Task 4. Turn scanning on or off. Press the scan button once to turn scanning on. Notice the rotating clock like symbol appears between the zone number and the channel number. The scan symbol remains until scanning is turned off. To turn scanning off, press the scan button once again. The words scan off briefly appear in the display and the scan symbol disappears. Task 6. There are three buttons that should not be selected by squadron personnel. Scan Edit, CS, and Key Select. If CS or Key Select are pressed, nothing will happen except a short beep and the words No Secure briefly appear. If Scan Edit is accidentally pressed, then back out of it by pressing Scan Edit again. Task 7. Using the microphone properly. Press the button to speak, release it to listen, and when holding the microphone, hold it about two to three inches from your mouth. That's about one hand width. Task eight, turn off the radio. Turn it off by pressing the on-off button on the front of the radio and then the power switch on the front of the power supply unit. If the radio will not be used for a while, also unplug the power supply unit. This concludes the video demo of the iCut T1 practical evaluation. Use it to prepare for your evaluation or for refresher training whenever you want it.